shortages because there ain't any houses out there where there ain't anybody to talk to for thousands and thousands of miles yes sir it's really friendly you know we lived back east for a while but we didn't like it very much and one day I said to old paint that's my wife I said, honey, how about you and I saddle up a couple of cayuses and we'll just head back for the mesquite? Well, sir, she sort of looked up at me with that pretty, sweet, smiling face of hers and said, what, are you some kind of a nut? <laughs> now, to give you an idea about that woman in the far western United States, one day she come up to me and she said, Honey, she said, what makes those prairie dogs howl like that out there on the prairie? And I said, Well, I suppose it's because there ain't any trees out there. <laughs> Just cactus, that's all there is out there. Tell you though, but there's a woman that's trustworthy and she, she's friendly and courteous and kind, old breedy and cheerful and thrifty and brave, clean. I thought I'd throw something new in for tonight, you know. And impossible to unload, I'll tell you. But I tell you though, we finally got all saddled up and we headed out west. The next thing you know, we were out there in that real hot desert country. And for four days, we didn't pass any water. What's wrong with that? I thought it was all right. We didn't pass any Coca-Cola stands. Is that what it was? All I know is we were thirsty and we didn't pass any real bad about it for itself. But you know, after riding all that time in the saddle and all, you know, these women with these fancy undergarments that they have, it kind of got a little rough on my wife, and we were passing a little general store there and one, and one day, and I went in that little general store for my wife, and I saw the girl behind the counter there, and I said, uh, ma'am, I'd, I'd like to kind of buy a girdle for my wife. She said, you want to play Tex? And I said, no, I'm sorry, but our horses are double parked out there. 
Coca-Cola stand, yeah, I get it. Okay. <laughs> but I tell you though, we finally got out to a little town called Broken Arrow, Texas. We cleared a couple of acres, put up a house, got in some cows and chickens and pigs, and by and by as time went on, we were blessed by the tiny patter of feet in our living room. You see, my mother-in-law's a midget. Now it wasn't so bad that Ma come out there to live with us, but she brought her little dog with her. Now he was one of these little dogs that looked like the dirty end of a mop, and one day I got to argue with Ma, and I said, Ma, I said, what kind of dog is that? She said, well, son, she said, that's a Mexican Spitz. And I said, Ma, look at here, look at here now, Ma, I know my dogs, I'll tell you right now, that ain't no Mexican Spitz. But about that time, that little dog looked up to me and he said, hey, senor, Oh, you! Oh, Jesus! Uh, oh, God! But I tell you, though, after a while, we kind of got successful. Yes, sir. Next thing you know, on our little ranch, we had 5,000 head of cattle. No bodies, just heads. Darndest thing in the world of milk you ever saw in your life, I'll tell you. Time, you know? Ah, yeah. No, we didn't tell time that way either, no. <laughs> us all we had was heads, and that's an utter story besides. <laughs> I threw that in. That's pretty good, wasn't it? <laughs> I thought it was good myself. <laughs> Guess it wasn't. But anyway, though, out there in our town, I'll tell you what we did have, though. We had a sheriff out there who was known as the fastest draw in the West. One day I saw the sheriff come down the street and I went up to him and I said, Hey, sheriff, I want to see that draw. He said, You sure you want to see it? And I said, Yeah. He said, You want to see it again? <laughs> but that's the far western United States for you. And as we said before, the Wild West, it just ain't wild anymore. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. If any shooting's done at all, it's at the old 